Welcome back to DigiBros, everybody. <laughs> what the fuck's up? Restarted the episode because uh, I said welcome back to DigiBros while Victor yes. was burping. I'm heading into a certain disgusting. doom. Apparently there's a... a f no, dude, just haul ass. Just haul where? ass. Haul ass that where? Way. I'm trying to figure this shit out. This straight. Go straight. Go straight! Haul yes. ass and then go break left over there. Oh. Um, well, Why would you tell I me go straight and break, break left, left immediately? There's the a fuck? fucking walkway right there. It didn't mean break left. No, keep going. What are what? you doing? I'm so con You were supposed ah. to go straight and then break left and you would end up down here. And then you told me to not break left no. and to go straight I, I and then left. I was criticizing your former decision to what? do something. Don't go that ah, way. Ah, ah, like no, 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 they Don't saw go me. That way. Don't no! go that way. Go up. Alright, there's going to be two guys you have to pass. Ah, not those two guys. Ah, another, like, two hard ah, guys. Ah, the ah, two knights. Ah, like, those ah, ones. Ah, Run past them. Haul ass. Haul ass. Right there's the thing. Just, you just got to get under that and pull the switch and you'll be good. No! What you need to do. Get under there and pull the switch. Pull the switch. Kill the switch. Kill the switch. Click, click, click. click. Yeah! Yeah, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Turn it off. I'm going right. to run around here. Now you're just fucked, so... Whoa, there's a big guy! Oh, there's two big oh, guys! Oh, there's a dead giant there. Uh, I didn't even know that. All right, uh, fall down here. Fall down to the right. Sleeping giant. Fall down to the right. Right, dude, fall down. Fall down. Die. Fall down. That'll fall kill down. me. It won't. It might. <laughs> it's the only way out of here. It will. This is how you get back to where you were, though. Oh, man, I want to explore up here. There's nothing else up here but all the Sleeping enemies. giants, there's like, man. There's one item back where all the rolling skeletons were, but, uh... Earth and space! Good fucking luck you've been getting back there. Hmm. There's lots of sleeping giants. They're all dead. No, nah, man, they're just asleep, man. Death isn't a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking talking about, man? Fuck. Well, that guy's just standing there. This is fucking red. Look at that. Look at that. It's yeah, crazy. you turned it off. Fuck yeah. And now you can freely explore the down there area uh, without getting shot at. No, don't hurt me. Do you really wanna hurt me? Shade said that, uh... He actually got the sandworm killed by the arrows. Wow. Like they shot at him. I had the tried last that and it was not working. Uh, killed it. Who? Who? Uh. Wait, uh you're still alive. You're still, wait, is there an item, item over here? I there's not there an item over here, you bitch. Oh, God damn it. It's probably up the other Wait, way. what happens if you fall off the cliff right there? I don't. What? I will die, no matter what. <laughs> up there was where you came from. That, that was just a spot with a bunch of rolling Up there, from. there's so much room. Well, babies. Well, babies, pop, pop, and blue. flowers bloom. Anyway, I was going to talk about, uh. I filmed these three vlogs, and then I threw the first one away because it was boring. Mm -hmm. um, and it's more of a DigiRose topic anyways, because it's right. more of a personal Let's go fight thing. a fucking sand snake, though. God damn. I'm hyped um, as shit. I didn't get to kill it last time because of the fucking basilisk. It's not very hard. Damn, damn. Um, yeah, but it's rad. It is very rad. It's like rad. playing fucking Lost Planet 2, man. It's crazy that it's but just cool. there. And it reminds me of Lost Planet Dune. a lot, and Dune. Um... Oh, bitch! Look at that shit. Fuck yeah. And it's one of those where it's like, it, it perfectly makes it feel like you're fighting this motherfucker. And it like, yes. I like that it doesn't really like hold back on you much. Yeah, it's just it's, a it's ready to fuck trash off you. thing. Yes, and it just, just getting, hurts. Just touching it hurts you. Um, Look at this motherfucker. He doesn't care. He's just ir irrational, man. So anyways, any uh, sense. Shit. Today is May 2nd. As of like a few hours, right? Yeah. I have already done all of Fuck. my mandatory work for the month of May. This dude annihilated me. You understand? Yes, you've done acceptance. all your work. All of my May work. And it's May the 2nd. It's May 2nd. <laughs> Jeez, man, you're too efficient. So, uh, you know, I've, I've got the Devu as my editor now, right? Mm. Full time. He's been editing for me for a while, but now I can afford to pay him full time. Uh, so basically last month, for April, we started the month by like, I was like, alright, Davu's gonna be my full time guy now, we're gonna make a fucking schedule. We're gonna be pro, yeah. right? Now, you've seen the way I've handled schedules in the past growing up, right? Remember back when I used to have like notebooks full of schedules? Do you have schedules? I thought you said lists. I've never known you had schedules before. Oh my god. Through all of middle and high school, I would sit around at school and write out schedules of what I was going to do that day, or uh -huh. that week, or that month. I think you'd be so much more organized. That's the thing. I've never followed any yeah. of them. I used to write <laughs> schedules every day. Saying, there's no way you followed a schedule. No, never. I've never done it. You just like writing schedules. Yes. Just for your fucking secretary. Well, eventually what I realized is that it's just because 
All right, I, I've talked before on the show about how oh, when when you talk about something you're gonna do, it you gives you the it. same feelings as having done. Oh it. yeah. And scheduling's the same way. <laughs> when you write out a schedule, you already feel the satisfaction of having stuck to that schedule, so you won't end up doing it. You know. Mm-hmm. And that would happen to me all the time. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to do, like, uh, I would do this with blog posts a lot. I'd, like, schedule out, like, a whole month worth of posts. And I'd be like, I'm going to get this post out on this day, this post out on that day. Never would get them done. So I gave up at some point. Mm-hmm. Like, at some point, it, you know, writing schedules is fun. So I, I know that's, like, the main reason I did it is because it's fun to do. But, like, it became so depressing to never follow schedules that I stopped doing it altogether. Sometimes yeah. I get tempted I'm like, oh, man, I kind of want to write a schedule for this. But it's like, no, because that's going to ruin it, you know. Even just last year, I'd written out this big schedule of, like, I was trying to schedule every video for all of 2016 all at once. Yeah. And uh, needless to say, that ruined it. It made course. it impossible. So, writing a schedule What the is, fuck, man? This dude is trashing you're, me. You're not using a good strategy. You're just going to stand outside of the range of where he moves. I mean, I didn't know he was going to pop up right there. Like... It's easier if you come at him from the other side, because he'll come up and he'll coil around and you can see exactly how big yeah. his space is. I also need to get my, my full health. See, that's so much damage. Alright, we're gonna beat this guy. Done fucking around. Serious business, man. Get your serious face. Get your game face on. Yeah, so anyway, schedules are a nightmare. Never follow them. But, I was like, I've got to full time. We're professionals now. Yes. You know, we're going to do this shit like pros. Fucking pro tier, dog. And I can trust DeVue's editing speed. I know exactly how fast he can work. You know, I know what he can get done in what amount of time. So I was like, we can do this. DeVue is not like me. DeVue, if you give him a schedule, will be, like, twice as motivated to follow it. Yeah. Like, if you give him, like, parameters, he's like, yeah, I'm yeah. going to follow that to the T. Get out of his fucking range! Just get how out of his whole movement range! This way over there? Yeah, just get out of his movement range and then figure out how big he is and then stand at the edge of it and attack him. Fine. I want to hit him in the face, man. I want to fucking fight him like a man. He doesn't have a face and you can't He's hit got him a in the face, face ever. Yeah, I've hit him in the face before. It just hurt. <laughs> so you got a big fucking crazy face, man. So, like, uh... Yeah, so, 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 um... I'm thinking with Davu around, we can write a proper schedule... We kick ass, right? right go, go, get over that way. Just go that way. Fine. Stand over there on that. See those rocks? No, go to the right. Stand on that little those platform rocks. right there. Oh! And see how fuck. big he is. Like he'll, he'll. Oh, he's I've real never big. seen this Whoa, attack. Cool. Whoa. Now he's fucking fighting me. Like I've never man. seen him try to punch you with his head before. Dude, hell yeah! See, I would now get, he's gonna do his now you know, strike. See, now you know the, his general Button range. So just stand like right here and wait for him to be coiled. Will like he not this just like walk over there? No, he does not move from this area. Oh! He's always in this exact spot. I didn't know, because I could never get this far out without getting hit by the basilisk, so I'd hide behind the rocks. <laughs> basilisk? You mean the... Uh, the... Bazinga. Yeah. Ballista. Ballista. I kept saying basilisk. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, anyway. Um, we've already gotten down to half out. Bazinga! Uh, yeah, so I, I, I wrote out the schedule, and my whole plan for God April damn. was... I knew Dark Souls 3 was coming out. So I needed to have everything done before Dark Souls 3 yeah. came out. That was all that mattered. We like, are all aware of that know. part. Right. So I, I did it. I got all of my part of the work done by April 10th. And then it was just up to debut. And I mean, there was some stuff I had to like redo like audio on and stuff like that. And, you know, and cooperate with them a little bit. Yeah. But like, and, Man, and that made it stupid easy. Well, that's the... the Dude, he was made of corpses too. Did you see that? Uh, yeah. Cool. Kind of. He's a corpse snake. Now you can just run around here and fight giant fucking crabs Shield of Wand. I want that shield, Dude, dog. Dude, equip that immediately. That really? is the shield that makes you gain more souls at all ooh, times. Ooh, Everything you kill, ooh. you gain more souls. It is Very clean. Shield. That one, do. That's the night shield. That's what you're holding. Trying to remember right. what it did, though. You just passed. There you go. Like, was it special? Shield of Wand makes you gain more souls when you kill enemies. Best grinding we- uh, item. Oh, yeah. That and the coveted... Uh, so do they man. stack? Yes. Fuck yeah. All of them stack. Shit, yeah. Well, that explains why you got so many souls throughout the game. I didn't have the Covet of Serpent Ring, yeah. and, but I and I didn't get this till the second playthrough. The oh, shield true. Of Never mind. So I mean, I what? got it on the first playthrough, but I didn't use it. Oh, yeah, aren't there big crabs here too? Should I follow the big crabs? Yes, some of them yeah, got rings. Crabs. I think. Oh, fight all the crabs! 
All the cribs. All the cribs. All the cribs. Oh, I killed all the there's cribs also a, in Wisconsin. There's like, go down there, and there's a tunnel that there's like a guy you can fight in to the right. Word. Or, yeah, is it right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a tunnel. Um, the tunnel between. Demon world and... No. Fine! Let's go now! Don't be rude, Toho. No, Yusuke. You needn't hurry. Take the time. Okay. I had it in my head that the tunnel between Demon World no. and- I'm gonna f my fingers around his shit! <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> god. It's been a while since we made a fingers around my dick reference on this show. I uh, mean, Hope still do it all the time. I said on the show. Yeah. Um. It's always on the mind. Anyway, back to what I was fucking trying to describe, the schedule thing. So, like, so the, the, the whole April schedule worked out super well. It was a beautiful thing. Trip, trip, we trip, both were really trip, proud of ourselves. Trip. Every video came out before the schedule, like it was even scheduled for. Like mm -hmm. each one had like a, a range of like like the earliest to the latest. Oh, I it's Horus! Oh shit! Oh, I didn't find her in the catacombs. Fuck! Who's Horus? He's the uh, the girl's friend. Who? He's the Hodor. The the one girl. Oh, the one who went insane. Yeah. Oh, and the, I didn't he talk to her in the catacombs. Talks. So she's definitely dead. Yeah, he's Hodor. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't even know you could find her in the catacombs. Yeah, she's in the catacombs, that. and that's where she loses him. Oh. And she's like, I can't find Horus, me. And then she's like, oh, is he dead? I don't know. Oh. She's like in several places throughout the catacombs. I see. I had no idea. Hodor! I've never played through her story, or his in my game. Uh huh. It's a gender changing uh, character. He is a Hodor, though. He does not talk, and he's just a big guy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Named Horus, it's like on the nose, man. Yeah, I think there's I, there's a few things in this game that I feel like are Game of Thrones references. Perhaps. Like I think Wouldn't Game of Thrones me. may possibly have been. I don't know if that show's like out in Japan or if it's well, the big books in are. Japan. I've seen the the Japanese um, book covers are hilarious. Yeah, but I mean like visual stuff that reminds me of yeah. Game of Thrones. The fuck. How the fuck? Is, I mean the books had art too. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, dude, go. that was just a pain. Yeah, that was weird. Um, for some bullshit too. Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Scheduling. Hodor? Yeah, this clearly is not that interesting since we keep breaking for the subject. This is why I deleted the, uh... I, <laughs> I had, like, a 20-minute vlog about this, and I was watching Jesus. it back, and I was like, this is fucking boring. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just so beautiful to have that, that schedule um, all done because it meant that I could work on whatever the fuck I wanted. And, of course, for April, it was mostly about playing Dark Souls. But then I was like, well, if we can do that again in May and I can get it all done before May starts, mm. then I can do, like, I can just write infinite stuff in May. Like, I could write the longest thing in the world, I could write about whatever I want, any subject, I could do anything, right? Yeah. The, the world is my oyster for the whole month, you know? And also in April, part of it was that, uh, you know, I was doing that weave cast, so I had to watch a lot of anime for that, and that was, like, keeping me busy as well. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I still ended up working a lot, uh, on like my own videos throughout April just for the podcast and uh -huh. shit but then for May I have like a bunch of scripts that I never got around to editing last year that um, that I still wanted to make videos out of so I wrote one new video towards the end of April and then I wrote like, I took three of my old ones and finally did audio for them and sent it all to Dubu uh -huh. so he's got four videos that are already lined up and I don't have to work on them at all for the whole rest of the month yeah. so it's like autopilot, you know, as long as Davu does his job, then, Boom. then we've got four videos coming out, guaranteed, which is the minimum I need to make enough money for it to be, you yeah. know, like a, like a career. Now, I mean, I could make, I'm, I probably will make and release more videos in this month, oh, fuck so, that, uh, so that I'll, you know, have a little bit more surplus, but like, yeah, I can do whatever I want in May. I can do anything. I can yeah. write the longest video in the history of time if I want to. I could, yeah, dude, do I could, it. I could watch. Do Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Man. I could watch a 500 episode show in the first two weeks of the month, and then write about it in the second two weeks of the month if I wanted to. Dude, you know. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. It's your time. Oh. When, when the fuck else would you ever do it? I was when, already when watching the it time? before. Just, yeah, but. To, to cover that shit, man. I don't like. I don't want to write about the whole fucking show. I'm not that interested. I don't think I. I, I don't think I. No. I don't think I. I was will, so offended by your disinterest in Legend of Galactic Heroes. I don't I think I will ever be man. a big enough fan of the Legend of Galactic Heroes to write something satisfying yeah. about it. Yeah. You know.
Like, I wrote one video that people really liked about the visuals of it, yeah. because I thought it was interesting to... I mostly... I wrote that, like, specifically as an attack on that anime snob, which yes. is the funniest thing. That's the only video I've ever written that was, like... Well, not the only one, but it's one of few videos that I wrote, like, specifically because of one person's yeah. thing. Like, because that's his favorite show, and he's always super anti, um, you know, visuals mattering, then I wanted yeah. to make a video about, hey, even in Legend of Galactic Heroes, the visuals matter. I want you to do a comparison of Legend of Galactic Heroes and Game of Thrones as stories that are telling the history of a civilization. Like, a turning point in history, because I think they are both thematically the same in being less a story about individual characters and more a story about a a period in time and like in a nation you know like that's what's super in that's what's i think that's a lot that more unique. i think it's a lot more true of legend of galactic heroes than it is in game of thrones i think it's about game of thrones too because game of thrones is about the seven kingdoms it is not about any of the characters which is why the characters can die and it keeps going because it's about the seven kingdoms coming to an end and and like it starts telling you how the Seven Kingdoms came about, which is uh, Robert Baratheon or whatever, you know, took out the old king and then it became the Seven Kingdoms. And now it's the story of them all dying. Like, all of them are falling, and by the end, the Seven Kingdoms will be over. So it's the story of the Seven Kingdoms, and it's yeah, the historical it... turning point in this world, or this, this continent, really. I don't know, I feel like maybe the books would convey that more. Probably. I don't know if the show conveys that. But the I think show that's is generally very character idea. focused. Yeah. And it doesn't have a lot of like random because I've I've always heard when people say that the books are better, they say it's because of all the random details and history yeah. stuff. Like, you know, like they'll tell you about like some fucking shield and like where it came but from yeah. and why. And that's what and Legend of the Galactic Heroes does. It'll be like right. here's this planet, here's everything going on on this planet, and then we right. we see and what happens and, Yeah. And but that gone. show is like history is the theme of that show. Yes. Like, the the main like, the, the main character that people attach, get attached to, Yang Wenli, is a fucking obsessed with history. Like, that's yeah. his thing. Like, they, they, it's, I think it's, it's in the text. it's more obvious you know? with that. Well, that, like I said, it's in the text. And, and the show, like, is constantly telling you, like, pulled out facts about people and stuff. You know? Yeah. It's, it's much more... It's, like, and everything's kind of in reference to real history, where yeah. Yang's always saying, like, this is just like this other battle, but nobody knows that because nobody studies history except for me, and I know everything, you know? Um, and now history repeats itself is like the biggest theme of the show. Yeah. That, that you know it's like we'll never have peace because people keep having the same conflicts over and over again. Shit. And nobody realizes that they're do they're just repeating themselves. You know, yeah. except for Yang. And Yang can't do anything <laughs> about it, so he just fights. Yes. You know? He's a shitty liberal. <laughs> what he fights on? The on the front yeah, line. but he doesn't want to. <laughs> you say he's bad that... at being a liberal, is what you mean? Like, shitty no. as it is shitty at... I just mean, like, his his philosophy is always the liberal-minded one, but he's, he's stuck in this position as as his commander, and he doesn't want to be there. I think if if I were to write about Legend of Magic Heroes, because I, I already... Um, it's funny, because I, I didn't tell Davu this, because I wanted to keep the oh, editing fuck. of uh, the interesting Girl anime like characters video, like, relatively simple. Oh. But, um... In Interesting Anime Characters Part 1, when I say that I would eventually write a video Jesus. about characters who are interesting for their hypocrisy, right. I was specifically thinking of Yang Wenli. Yeah. Like, oh, not, I, I wouldn't say I was only thinking about him. There's a lot of characters who are interesting for that reason, but, like, I would love to write about, like, what makes him so cool is that he's this massive hypocrite. Uh -huh. That he, you know, is, like, responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, uh -huh. but is a pacifist at heart, you know? But what I've always wondered with, with that show is, like, was he drafted? I Like, because he clearly doesn't want to be in the military. Right. No interest in any of that. But he ends up doing it because he, he can save more lives than yeah. they will. Like, but initially, you know, was he just kind of forced into it? Because isn't there, like, I remember early on there's parts where he, like, tries to get out, but then he just ends yeah. up going back because he, the other people <laughs> who would be in charge would be so much worse. You uh, know? Like... The reason he fights is because if he didn't fight, then they would lose and more people would die. Yeah. So it's like, you know, even though he fundamentally disagrees with the idea of fighting, if he doesn't do it, then they're fucked, you know? So it's like, he's like, he has to. Um, God, I was so much stronger when I came here before. This is like way more of a challenging fight. Yeah, I felt that way. Uh, on New God Day damn. Plus. Oh, he just crushed me that time. I came here. I mean... 
like I'm not doing a ton of damage. He took a lot more health out of me. Or maybe I'm thinking of when I watched Jesse play through here, because he uh -huh. found it, uh, I think, on his first try. Um, Gish. But yeah. Uh, Take another I don't know. Like I like Legend of Galactic Heroes, and I could see writing about it, but I wouldn't write nearly as much as other people have. Like, yeah, If probably. you want that, go Animanachronism, the old blog. He blogged most of the show. He's been leading a group watch of it yeah, all fucking year. Read. Okay. It's a the guy named uh, Thali Thaliarchus is his name on Twitter, and he like every Sunday for the past like fucking year essentially they've been doing like they watched two episodes of uh, Legend of Galactic Heroes. He was leading a group watch. I was gonna watch along with it, but I, I I was ahead of it when it started, and then it passed me, and I just didn't get around to it. Uh. But um. He wrote like about he wrote a bunch of shit about it way back yeah. on his blog, the Anime Anachronism. In celebration of tonight's uh, Game of Thrones episode, I will adorn the garb of Jon Snow. Yeah, that's what I meant yes. when I said it looks like there's stuff in here that looks like Game of Thrones. Yeah, dude, armors. this was in Dark Souls two though. In the yeah. whole, I wore it through the whole game because I was like Jon Snow. <laughs> Definitely looks like the Night's Watch armor. We are watchers on the wall. We are the brothers of the Oh, and I've got his fucking dog sword. Dog. Fucking John um, Snow. I don't, I don't man, know if I've ever mentioned that on ass. this show, that, like, my knowledge of Game of Thrones predated the show entirely because of the band Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> because it's a band who, I mean, if you can't tell by their title, all their music is about the fucking Song of Ice and Fire series. And, um... Their first album, Brothers of the Night, has some pretty great tracks on it. I wouldn't say it's a great album, but it has some cool songs. Yeah. And then they made a self-titled album called Seven Kingdoms, where they had a new vocalist and songwriter, and I just didn't like it at all. Like, they, they tried to make it a lot more like a, like a broad appeal kind of yeah. thing, you know? And I, it just did not have the heart that it had before. Um, I don't know if they ever made a third album. I have not looked into it. But, uh... Uh, they have song. They have a song called "Watchers on the Wall" that's about the Watchers on the Wall, and it, it has like the whole speech in it, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I shall live and die oh, at true. my post, and all that uh, shit. The oath. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking good song. But the chorus is, "We are watchers on the wall. We are the brothers of the night." And it's fucking dork ass shit, man. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it's fucking like it's like a power metal. You yeah, know, it's it's pretty fucking nerdy, but it's great. And there's a uh, there's one song, uh, Stormborn, where they're like, uh, "Go give the king his crown of gold." About you know when the brother is oh, yeah. gold for his head. So when I, when the show came out and I saw that scene, I was like, "Oh, it's the scene hey. from the song. Now I get it. Oh. Right? I understand the lyrics now." You yes, know? great scene. Yeah, classic. It's pretty fucking. Man, this season of Game of Thrones has been all, like, comedy gore. <laughs> like, both episodes have had plenty of moments where it's like, people die in gruesome ways and you know you're supposed to laugh. That, <laughs> it's uh, weird. See, that's Yeah, it's been bothering like, me. It started with season five, yeah. and it's just driven me fucking And now nuts. it's getting worse, and I'm just like, are four, we really right? doing the comedy gore? Like, right. Okay, that's, that's like the biggest I know you guys reason enjoy of, you can get away with anything, that's but like goddamn. The biggest part of why I stopped watching the show is uh, because it's too glitch. It's like, the only comedic moments anymore are parts where a dude's getting his head slammed right. into a wall. Like, what the fuck? I, I'm not... I'm generally not a fan of comedy gore in general, but like, yeah. the way that the show does it, where it's like, you're supposed to take the show seriously. Yes. Know? So when they're constantly putting these like, haha, someone got killed, and it's like, Am I not supposed to be, like, terrified when someone gets killed? Isn't that what you're going for, you know? <laughs> nope, not anymore. Like, when characters They've jumped are the shore, brutally but oh, murdered. Oh, fuck, dude. It's, like, fucking... And I really felt it, like, with season four was when it started doing that. I, I think I've talked about that on the show yeah. before. But, like, yeah. Just... When we were watching season four. Yeah. The f funniest thing ever was when we were... Well, no, season four was before we started Digi Bros. That was the year before. Season five was during Digi Bros, and I didn't watch that. Um... Well, because remember the season four finale, we had we had come was up and we not were like, we didn't talk about it. I was about to tell you that oh. story of how I was finally finishing editing the Sword Art oh, Online yeah, reaction yeah, that's video. What that was. 
the uh, Jesus fucking! I keep getting stuck under his fucking. Because when me bullshit. and Victor watched Sword Art Online before I wrote about it, we we filmed our reactions to every episode, and then way later I made a pa like if you are a three dollar patron on my Patreon, then you get access to um, a bunch of unlisted or deleted videos, and then some that I never released before, and I edited together all of the Sword Art Online commentaries and put them up there, but I, I hadn't done the last five till recently. And, uh, like, in, like, the last one, we had gotten up to go watch the new Game of Thrones episode and come back. And, like, it starts off with both of us just being like, Oh, my God! Oh, what the fuck? And I was like, well, I know what episode we were watching. You know? Wow, I tried to roll through that and I didn't roll and I died. But, yeah. Uh, fuck it, I'll come back and kill this guy later. Yep, next time on Digibros. Hey!